Hello, my name is Ariel and this is the Gameprint channel. I'll be continuing the gameplay of uh, Hogwarts Legacy in this video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the walkthrough. Let's uh, keep playing and see what's uh, what's new here. I actually love um, how the statues, statues move and how they are always uh, changing position. It's cool. Changing daylight. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Access the restricted section, but how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Oh my god. Who who could Still, have ripped those pages? I will need time to study what remains. Definitely. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder if that can grab that I apple. Why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. What are you up to now? In Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Sure. Let's go to the world map.
Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Oh my god, this world, this world is massive. This world is huge. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Herbology. So I guess we're going to Herbology class right now. And this seems to be a fast pass, a fast travel. Professor Garlic, how wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Okay, <laughs> that was funny. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, shit. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. 
All right then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dip. Mm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Yeah, definitely. That was actually that I was scary. <laughs> I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you! It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers back. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Okay. The cabbages do so I guess we can make potions out of too. the things that we harvest. I have so that means that we can harvest, uh, you know, plants and then we can get chomping. potions out of it. Yes, That's pretty, professor. pretty brilliant. It's just at the end of the footbridge, leading just to make the crafting room. system a lot more Mr. fun. Pruitt has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that, of course. Of course, we're very brave. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Pretty cool. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden. You can also use it for weapons out. too. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants, not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Awesome. I'll see you later. Well, that's pretty cool. So you can also have plants for, uh, you know, for attacking purposes as well, like do damage. And with that help 
helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Six minutes. Okay. There's plenty of dragon dung in case you run out. Feel free to plant. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new parts. Great. I level up. I also got some new gear, I think. Nope. No new gear. Well, this is exciting. Just finished this uh, training with the plants. Herbologist. So this is going to be a, now a potions class. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Cool. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Great. So it could blow up, maybe. <laughs> if I had the incorrect amount, this could have caused an explosion, it seems. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Mm -hmm. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. 
Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Okay. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents can. Professor Sharp said that Wiganwell potion can treat injury. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant. You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwipa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwipa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion Precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! Awesome. This is going to take a moment to brew. Hopefully I don't get in trouble because of you. should get you. brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Prepared which or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Make a Adorus potion. Great. Missing some ingredients for and this. Now we add the mallow sweet and 
That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh. I'm gonna get into trouble now. No. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. No, I'm that's good. I, I thought, he, I thought he was going to fire. He was going to film me or something. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay, cool. Awesome. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Process dismissed. Awesome. Ugh, my robes are going to be uh, inspiration. Well, now, on another adventure. That was very exciting. I I got to decide to help uh you know, a friend and I almost got fairly class, so it's pretty pretty interesting. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and uh, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel and I'll be continuing uploading more videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.